The Indian Challenger Limited is 98.5 inches long with a wheelbase of 65.7 inches, having a ground clearance of 5.4 inches and a seat height of 26.5 inches, this making a lean angle of 31 degrees on both sides. The tires are also running a 130 in the front and a 180 in the rear. The weight is 840 pounds in running order and is sporting a 6-gallon tank, perfect for those long hauls. The Indian Challenger is running with the Power Plus engine at 108 cubic inches, creating 128 foot-pounds of torque at 3,800 RPMs and 122 horsepower, 5,500 RPMs. With all that power, the bike is hosting inverted front forks and single hydraulic shock in the rear to help keep the ride as smooth as possible. And to be able to stop all that power, the Challenger Limited is running Brembo brakes. In the front, dual 320mm single floating rotor 4 piston dial caliper, and in the rear, single 298mm floating rotor 2 piston caliper. The tech included in this bike includes fairing mounted instrument cluster featuring analog speedometer, tachometer with fuel gauges, range, odometer, and current gear with 15 LED telltale indicators, which include cruise control, low tire pressure, battery, low fuel, security system, low engine oil pressure, MHP, and so much more. There is also the seven inch touchscreen display with real time clock, ambient temperature, heading, audio information display, map and navigation with real time traffic and weather, Bluetooth status for phone and headset, and Apple CarPlay integration. My initial thoughts after reading this bike is that this seems like a very powerful yet capable motorcycle ready to conquer the road and anything you throw at it. With all the technology and comfort put into this motorcycle, there are high expectations for amazing things to happen while riding this bike. Let's get into the first five impressions video and see how it really feels. Welcome back to the channel, Five Boys. Today we are up at Stu's Motorsports and we're going to be doing a nice little test ride and demo on this bike. Thank you, Stu's, for allowing me to take out your Indian Challenger. Super excited. First time I'm going to be riding this, so let's go on and get into it. Let's go and get do a nice little test ride and get my first ride and impressions on this bike. Hopping on over. Big motorcycle, big front fairing. It's mounted to the front. Super nice power button right here. Turn it on. You got the nice display. Comes right on eventually. There we go. Oh, so pretty. You got all your nice display right up there. Warning's okay. You can change your music right here. Left and right indicators. Push into cancel. Horn. Wow, that's a big ass horn. High beams, low beams, flashers. You got kill, start. You got your windscreen adjuster, which I love. That's so cool. And then you got cruise control up, down, center. You also got a really nice display. Right now it's in there. You also got navigation. You can really see where you're going, put in. You, oh, this is so nice. You can see your PSI. You can see, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's your battery level. That's cool. Navigation, connect to phone, radio. So let's just put this on navigation right now. Hold in the clutch go we're in standard mode let's keep it in standard for right now and we're off big ass bagger bike having some fun man this is smooth Ooh. use the Harley controls there for a second oh man this bike is super smooth wow this feels good the get up and torque feels great super linear Man, this thing feels like a barge in how it moves. Oh, yeah. Woo! Brakes feel good, nice and powerful. But man, this engine gets up and goes. Holy sh! Only in standard. Let's put her into a nice sport mode, why don't we? Already getting some fun. Ooh, she, guys, she sounds good. She's. She sounds real good. It's also blast some music. Turn up the volume here. So much. I miss my wife. That sounds good. No, thank you, Stu's. You guys are just like you guys are really already out there. Like I, this is the first time I've ever came, and you guys are really already allowing us to have a lot of fun. Whew. I already feel the twitchiness in that sport mode. back gets up and goes and man guys this thing just feels like a barge planted 
feel like I am getting some buffeting, so let's try bringing that down, see if that helps. Oh man, see? That makes it worse. But man, see, this just helps with your writing. You can change that. You don't have to go and buy a separate system. Oh man, guys, this, this is just a killer bike. way too fast for this road, but it doesn't feel like it at all. Woo Man, guys, this is, I like this bike a lot. I like her. She knows how to respond, she feels well, and she handles real good. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, guys. Crap, turned to the wrong place. Dude, this thing is a f***ing boat. It feels so good. And look, you got all this like extra compartments in here. You got a phone. Already has a phone charger in there. That's like a real outlet. That's like a legit full outlet. Yeah, and I was getting buffeting. So like my head was shaking and all I had to do was just move it. Watch out for the bicyclist. Oh, she fat. I can't back her up. <laughs> oh that's what it is i thought this was sounding a little weird but like if i look right here it says sport mode but there's a rear cylinder cancellation for when you're not moving so i have a 32 inch inseam sorry i didn't say this stuff earlier but i have a 32 inch inseam i'm easily able to flat foot this i weigh about 240 pounds i'm five foot eleven and this bike just feels super planted. I feel like I'm riding on a lazy boy right now. Let's get a good listen. Indian is just upping their game so well. They're getting so good with their bikes. This has a huge ass gas tank, so you're just gonna be able to go so far on this bike. You're gonna be able to go so far on this. This bike really feels like a land barge. You're cutting through the air. I love the attached fairing to the to the frame instead of the movable fairing like the batwing fairing i love the shark nose i feel like it just really cuts through and it, you don't feel any wobble from the wind or anything you also don't have to move all of that extra weight from the cereal and the fairing and all the other stuff that's attached to it and finding neutral is easy as cake Ooh. nice job running the light Oh guys, I, I really like this bike. She sounds angry when she goes and she feels smooth. Man, third gear. Did you drop something? No. Like a bag of candy? I thought I heard something. I thought it was you. Listen, I know I'm Fat Boy Bob, but like, I'm not that fat that I carried candy with me. <laughs> so now we're just gonna go on ahead and test out the cruise control. So then if I do that, cruise control is set. Oh yeah, I love me my free hands. Oh. Cruise control is a blessing, especially on this beast of a bike. Man, you can go forever. Okay, cruise control works well. It's super planted. If you want to, if you want to, you can just roll forward, cancel. Downshifting feels really good. Upshifting feels really good. There's actually a pretty nice clone coming out of these. 
these floorboards are super relaxed you just got to move your feet up in order to reach those brakes so you really so you know when you're doing it you're committing to it but the foot pegs are in a really nice position i mean i literally feel like i'm sitting in just a comfy chair like the perfect seat height for me this feels really good let's see what else can i talk about about this bike so you guys feel like you know that you are here these handlebars are i think in the stock position the clutch is super easy to maneuver but so for flickability it's actually really easy to maneuver for how big this motorcycle is it really feels like it maneuvers side to side really easily without any problem you're paying for the top motorcycle but this is a good motorcycle i actually i keep feeling and hearing that the rear cylinder cancellation they do that so that way it helps cool down the motorcycle so that way you don't have just this hot engine you don't have this hot cylinder right underneath your junk and it's actually really smart and it's just i think it's so cool that they figured that out and they included that in this so also self-canceling turn signals man this is just such a good bike i can't say that enough good job indian you guys really are coming out with amazing things so much better than what they used to be and you guys are really upping your game amazing job guys like i love the bikes you guys are coming out with they feel so good they're handling so well Harley just really needs to up their game more. They really do. We are back. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Again, huge shout out to Stu's Motorcycles, who sell Indian and Zero Motorcycles because of Polaris. Guys, this bike is so nice. It sounds so good, handles so well. You got these huge bags in here, too, that handle so much. Stereo sounds good, display looks awesome, feels good, power's good. Everything I have literally zero complaints about this bike it is so nice if you like this video make sure you go and hit that thumbs up button make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification i'll catch you all on the next one peace